Welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet's tip of the day. Let's iron our crochet. Wait, what? <laughs> no, not like that. But really, you can iron your crochet when the ends are curling up and driving you crazy. If you've got a gazillion granny squares to block, believe it or not, you don't need to block. I have never blocked anything, and I have been doing this for more years than I want to admit. So, yes, you actually can iron your crochet with some very careful maneuvers. But I use this all the time. I have done this so many times with all different kinds of yarn, mostly with acrylic and cotton. I've not done this yet with wool, so if anybody has done this technique with wool yarn or had a disastrous result, let me know in the comments below. Let us know what happened, um, when is this not the best idea. But like I said, I have never had a problem with this and it's just been so extremely helpful and convenient. Okay, so let me show you how I do it. First I lay down a towel. And that's mostly just to give me some cushion because my um, ironing board is old and the padding has completely worn down. So I just put a little towel down for some cushion. And then you do not ever want to iron directly on the object. We're going to steam iron it. Now I also use a pillowcase to cover it up so that we're not working directly on the crochet work. Now I like to, sometimes I, I'm using this really old, old iron, so sometimes the steam setting works, sometimes not so well or sometimes not fast enough. So then I will just give it a little spray water, hold the iron over the object about an inch from your work. And you're going to want to test this out, obviously, first on whatever you're, you're working. So pick an uh, inconspicuous corner or an example swatch. See, my steam does not seem to be working real quickly here, and the iron is leaking everywhere. <laughs> but that's normal for, for me for this. Happens all the time. Okay, so then what I do is go and I pat it down as it's heating up. Now usually if the iron is warmed up and, you know, ready to roll, it doesn't take this long. And if I have a particularly stubborn corner that refuses to lay flat, I will iron carefully on the pillow cover, pillow case. And then I give it a quick check. Oh, look how nice and flat that is. Oops, over here I flattened it where I didn't want to flatten it. It curled over. So I just do that. There you go. So that fast and that easy, you've got a nicely flattened out granny square. And by the way, this is a little sneak peek of one of my designs that's coming up. So here's another way that I like to use this technique. Now you all will be very familiar with this situation where the corner of a panel just flips right over when you don't want it to. So here we go. Bring it down. Use your pillowcase. Make sure that you've got it flattened down the way you want it. Let me see if the steam is working yet. There we go. Ooh, look at that. That fast, that easy. 
okay sometimes it doesn't want to come back up so you might have to do that a, a little bit longer a little bit more I had already tested this so that's how I know I'm good to go I know I can press it down and I'm not going to melt anything so there you go how cool is that here's something else I do when something is curling up and super stubborn if for example I'm in a rush or I'm in the middle of something else and I don't want to go through all the setup with the ironing board and the towel and the spray bottle and the iron here's a shortcut now I was actually hard pressed to find another project that was curling up on me because I've already taken care of the situation but let me see if uh, this will work with the granny square so like I said, if I don't have time to go through all this ironing business, or steaming I should call it, then I take a book, a nice big fat book, and just do that. Usually I do this just for the corners. If I've got, you know, a garment like I just showed you, and the corners are flipping up, which happens 99% of the time, I just take a book to the corners. And, you know, I'll walk away and, and keep doing whatever I was doing. And after a little while, it's all flattened out. See, it's already started the process here. As if, as if it was an actual process. So just like that. Boom. No blocking. Am I being lazy by not blocking? Yeah, yeah, probably. But, you know... I've got way too much going on, way too much going on <laughs> to, first of all, buy an expensive blocking board. I have priced them. No, thank you. I'm a total cheapskate. And, you know, to have to go through, you know, the, the little pins and put everything out, it's, it's just as time consuming as the steaming. <laughs> But like I said, you know, sometimes if you're just doing the corners and something, golly, this is just, boom, done. Right? Have you done that before? Have you used a book to flatten your corners? Let me know. Let me know your, your tips and suggestions, your tried and true methods. What have you done to flatten your corners or to... Uh, use an alternative to blocking. Let us know. Let me know if you're going to give this a try. Let me know if you're afraid to try, <laughs> which believe me, I was the first time I did this. Um, I was super careful. And now that I know, you know, all the yarns that I've tried it with and had no issues, I pretty much just go to town and boom, done. Okay, so stay tuned for the next tip of the day from Crazy Cool Crochet.